everybody and welcome to the second part of the Asian Cup jersey review and for once the jersey that I'm wearing features also, not features but the country features also in the video. So this is the one video where it actually makes sense of me wearing this jersey. Let's get straight to it because otherwise this video will get very very long again. We look of course at group B and the first team in group B is Australia. We already saw this jersey at the World Cup. Um, nice yellow jersey with the wave pattern uh, in with green uh, strokes on there um, which basically should represent a Z of, sea of gold that carries uh, the Socceroos forward. Um, here we see the replica version that's why between the kangaroo and the emu you see the Australia Federation crest. They have the, of course the full coat of arms at the tournament. I don't like the number uh, off center but okay this is the nike style i also don't like the color too much but overall this is a really nice looking australia shirt i uh, especially like the uh, union star on the back of this little taping i gave this ahead of the world cup eight stars and i'm gonna stick with this rating i think it's a very interesting very nice looking australia shirt now the away shirt which we haven't seen at the asian cup uh, so far is dark green, which overall makes a lot of sense for Australia. Um, the away jerseys have now been for quite a while, I think since 2000, 2006 have been navy, um, which yeah, the Australian national colors are green and gold. So I think the dark green makes a whole lot of sense here. However, I do not like the, that all the applications are in uh, neon green and not in yellow. That's what uh, ticks me off and also I don't know what this diagonal sash should be, like this two points meeting. It looks like a cosmic thing but I don't see any relation. It's a little bit unmotivated the whole thing. Um, but then again the jersey is not worn a lot. The color overall is a nice one. Um, put some yellow in there maybe even outline the crest a little bit more. Um, I think the whole coat of arms gets lost on this one. I think it could have used maybe even the golden base uh, to shine a little, a little bit more. So overall, I like elements of this one, but overall it does, it's not convincing to me and I'll stick with my six stars that I gave uh, ahead of the World Cup. Now, the second seeded team in this group was Syria, and now we start with the Yako teams. Yako is the one supplier that has the most shirts here at the Asian Cup. And for Syria, we have a very simple Yako template, but uh, I think it's the only time that we will see this one. With the crew neck collar, but with a buttoned opening that is white on the inside, and also you have those white uh, stripes here on the side, and of course white sleeve, sleeve cuffs. What I don't like, and we see this with a lot of teams from the Arabian world, is that we just have the flag stuck on there. I always find it disappointing when a soccer jersey just features a flag, especially if the flag is partly blending in with the jersey, how it is in this case the red on red. You don't see it, and you have just a white bar with two green stars and then the, and then the black below. Teeny bit disappointing. It's not more than average jersey for me. Uh, at least the number font is nice, but I don't like those white stripes. This one's boring, on, 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 honestly, it could be way more exciting. And for that reason, I'm only give this four stars. And for the away jersey, it's basically the same. The one thing that the, it does better is that the flag on the white pops out a lot more. And for that reason, I'm gonna give this a slightly better rating uh, with five stars. I actually think without those lines here, this jersey would look better. I truly think so. This is a little bit distracting to me. Moving on, Palestine, another Yako team um, that uses also a very simple template and again with the flag. Uh, if you have the flag on there, you're bound to fall in my rating. But they use the template that I like to call the Puma template of Yako, which is basically the form strap down the shoulders. Um, and this makes for a much better looking shirt, especially if you have all these uh, circles that is so typical for Yako. It's not a big company, but I know Lasko was wearing Yako shirts. 
uh, a while ago and this is their trademark and I actually like it in a way that uh, makes something special and here if you look at the Palestine shirts very simple crew neck from stripe flag on there a uh, decent number font nothing too fancy but it looks just a little bit better than a serial shirt and for that I'll give the home shirt uh, six because the white home shirt because I like white with red accents much better the away jersey is just a reversal in red and it doesn't quite connect with me as much uh, for some reason I think it's always better to have these accents in a darker color and so I give this one five stars but Palestine slightly better looking than Syria and then we have uh, Jordan the surprise package of this group and I barely can find good shirts but the shirts are made by Homa also using a very simple template you see in this group only Australia sticks out all the others are red and white and if you look at the flags they all have the same colors in there and the Jordan flag and the Palestine flag are very 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 similar only for Jordan the triangle the red triangle is larger and it has a star in there Jordan at least puts a crest on there and the jersey itself is really um, not bad looking you have the white jersey you have the v-neck in red nicely outlined and then you have kind of the underarms and um, upper shoulder here there's a red speck I wish the Homer logos were in red although the black the, stays within the scheme the uh, numbers are quite nice on this one um, average jerseys but not bad looking ones and with the crest I also give this six stars and the away jersey is just a reversal but it still looks very good honestly uh, and I'll stick with my uh, rating here of six stars and Jordan has really good looking it's a good looking team and we'll see how they will proceed in the uh, knockout stages by the time this post you probably know already the result of Jordan anyway let me know what you thought about all these shirts um, which ones you like which ones you disliked um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these and I will talk to you soon bye hey there I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too also please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel all things my soccer universe and with that i want to wish you a wonderful day